What's going on guys? You're checking out QGN HQ. My name is Chris and today's video we have a comparison video for you guys. I'm talking about the brand new Logitech G Pro 10 keyless keyboard versus the brand new Corsair K63 10 keyless keyboard. They're both compact keyboards. They're both very awesome in their own aspects, but they also both hold their differences. So in this video, I'm going to go through it and try and pick, you know, the winner between the two. Not saying that one is technically better than the other, but uh, we want to get the best bang for our buck here since we are both me included and you guys the consumer so we want to do the best to you know save our money and get the best product out there so hopefully we can figure it out together guys let's get into it Okay guys, so first up we're going to be checking out the brand new Logitech G Pro gaming keyboard. It uses Logitech's own set of keys that they created called the Romer G's and they swear that 25% faster than the competition standard mechanical switches. Take a look at the keyboard, I love the matte black finish, I like the shiny bezel around the edge as well, it really complements the keys, and I do like the font that they went with. Now, the entire chassis is made of plastic, but don't worry, there is no flexibility in this keyboard. Now the micro USB cable is detachable and it is braided as well and this funny looking clip at the end is actually a pretty good idea because it actually holds it in place and it won't break away while playing. The front has two simple buttons, you have your brightness and your game lock mode so you won't hit the windows key while playing. On the back you have your regular rubber so it won't slide around your desk and the legs are actually pretty cool because there's two different angles you could actually set this keyboard to while it's on your desk. At its highest point, it sits at an 8 degree angle on your desk and if you're not happy with that, go ahead and pop the legs down and there's two smaller ones inside and it will sit on your desk at a 4 degree angle. But in the end, if you're not happy with that, just go ahead and lay it flat. After playing with it, I actually liked it at the 4 degree angle, that felt the best for me, but in the end, it's all preference on the player. Now onto the Corsair K63 Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. Now this only comes with Cherry MX Red switches as of right now. I do not know if they plan on coming out with any of the switch sets. I kind of highly doubt it though. So taking a close look at the keyboard, it's all matte black as well as the base itself. And the base is plastic just like the Logitech and there's no flexibility in this keyboard as well. Now I do like the font, I like the actual key set. The red uh, accent around the edges makes the keyboard pop. Corsair keyboards are always, you know, kind of usually look the same but they are a very durable set of keys. Now, the actual USB cable here is non-detachable and it's not braided, so if you damage or break this cable, you basically do not have a keyboard anymore. Now, you have your multimedia keys, which I absolutely love on a keyboard. You have your brightness control as well as your key lock, so you won't be hitting that Windows key while gaming, the logo in the middle, and you know, when you have these multimedia keys on a keyboard, it's such a help when you want to switch songs, you're going to be hitting the back of your headset and things like that. You got your rubber grommets in the bottom so it won't slide around, looks like an area maybe to put a wrist rest in the future on the bottom, and the legs pop out only to the side, and they only sit at one angle, about 8 degrees on the desk. I found it very comfortable while playing with it, even when it was sitting flat it was also comfortable as well because as you can see, the keyboard itself is kind of built onto an angle. Now, like I said earlier, this only comes with Cherry MX Red keys. Now, these keys take only two millimeters to actuate. If you guys don't like MX Red keys, then you basically might not want this keyboard. Now, on to the Logitech. It takes 1.5 millimeters to actuate these brand new Romer G keys. Not much of a difference, but I guess it does beat the Reds if you think about it. So now back over to the Logitech keyboard. Now this is a fully RGB keyboard. Now that's really awesome in my opinion because I'm the type of person that's always changing my desk setup. And you know, I have themes changing every other week around here. So I would like to be able to take my keys and change them to whatever color I personally want without going out and buying a whole other keyboard. So that's something that you guys might be interested in as well. Now, how do you change the colors on this? It's actually really easy. Logitech has one of the most seamless programs out there. You know, if you have a Logitech headset or webcam, it's the same exact program. You head over to the Logitech website and download it. As you can see here in the top left corner, it's really, really easy to use. You could change everything from the colors to how they appear, how fast they will, you know, go through other colors and things like that. Honestly, you could take a bunch of time and you could play with this. It's a lot of fun and you know, you'll all find your own, you know, kind of, you know, theme or color that you're really into that you guys might like out there as well. 
Now, when we are actually looking at this keyboard, when I was playing with this keyboard, it's kind of light. And I really didn't like how I, you know, was able to move the keyboard around the desk, even though it had the rubber grommets. I felt it was very easy to move this keyboard when I was playing games like Overwatch and CSGO. Unlike the K63, which is kind of a heavier keyboard and it was very, very sturdy on my desk. It didn't really go anywhere. Now, the only thing with this keyboard is it just has the red LEDs. There's no RGB, so you're going to have a red and black theme and that is all you're stuck with. You could just change the brightness. There's no program to download. You just have the button on the top right corner. But the multimedia keys are awesome. Um, you know, it's a comfortable keyboard. Now, let's check out how they sound in comparison to each other when you're typing. Okay guys, so let's talk price before I go ahead and, you know, figure out which one I like here. So, the Logitech G Pro on the left hand side comes in at 130 bucks versus the Corsair K63 on the right hand side which comes in at 80 bucks. Now, when it comes to the Logitech Pro, I love the fact that it has a braided cable that is detachable as well as being an RGB backlit keyboard. That is awesome to me because I can always change my theme up and the keyboard will match it without me going out and spending more money. Now, the Corsair, I hate the fact that that cable is not braided or detachable because if that cable breaks, your SOL and your keyboard and the 80 bucks is gone. Now, it is backlit, but it's only red, which is kind of a bummer, but at least it's still backlit. Now, uh, taking a close look at both of these keyboards and playing with these keyboards, I'm going to tell you right now, the uh, Corsair is a heavy, more durable keyboard in my opinion, so I did like that keyboard better while playing. Now as well as the key sets. Now you have the Cherry MX Red with the Corsair versus those Romer Gs on the Logitech. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, the difference is almost minute. You really cannot really feel or see the difference or even hear the difference. You, as you guys heard in the sound test, they're super similar. So, you know, the Logitech's got something going on with those Romer Gs over there. I don't care what you guys say. They're pretty on point and they technically are a little bit faster. So I have to pick a winner and I'm going to go with the Corsair K63. That is not only because it's a little bit more durable keyboard in my opinion, you know, when it comes to the actual key sets, not the cable, but it's the price range. That $80 price range is just too sweet compared to the G Pro's 130. Now maybe it's 130 because it's got the RGB look to it. Personally, I think this keyboard should have been at a hundred bucks. If the G Pro was at 99 bucks, I might have went with that over the Corsair, but in the end, the Corsair won it in my opinion. But I want to hear what your guys' opinion are. Let me know down below in the comments on which keyboard you guys thought were better or which keyboard you guys even want to pick up, if you or if you guys own it. Let me know which one you guys own and which one you, you know, why you own it and why you went with that keyboard is crucial. And you know what else is crucial? You guys. If you guys like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Share the video with your friends as that helps me get this channel out there and we can grow this community together. And please guys, do me a favor, subscribe if you like the content here. But do not forget, most importantly, fellas, fellettes, you guys are awesome.